and other means uh, we will see that this is the main objective to understand the phenomena of atmosphere and how the clouds are formed Hi, uh, my name is Sindhu, and today's topic of discussion is Mission Mosham. Uh, so, as you know that recently, uh, cabinet has approved the uh, 200 crore uh, fund for the Mission Mosham. So, today we will discuss that why Mission Mosham is very important uh, for the country and for the whole world also, because Mis- Mission Mosham we will come. Um, completely get to know that what we will do exactly over the 5 years and how we will proceed and how we will understand uh, the uh, phenomena of the atmosphere and understand the uh, also understand and help the other sectoral uh, benefit uh, to the uh, community and the people so let's start and let's we will see that what the government has approved and what are government plan and how it is beneficial and why it is needed uh, to all of us so as you can see that uh, government has approved 200 crore for the over 2 years okay and this mission will uh, include creating a laboratory for artificial developed cloud and also it will include the a lot of uh, technology in the mission forecasting system so why it is important and why it is needed now we will see that why it is important so mission motion yeah So first we will see that uh, who will implement the mission mosham so mission mosham is implemented by ministry of earth sciences and uh, primarily if we will see that uh, there is three institute that is a uh, institute of ministry of earth science india meteorological department uh, india institute of tropical meteorology and the national center for medium range weather forecasting will primarily implement the mission mosham next questions why it is needed so this is a very important questions why it is needed and why we are spending a lot of fund in this mission so the importance here you can also read out the uh, read out uh, the importance and as we understand that the due to the climate change uh, our uh, atmosphere is very chaotic and uh, the things that happen events in the atmosphere is very unpredictable day by day so as you say that somewhere uh, heavy rainfall and somewhere localized droughts are prevalent in these days so that's how we will uh, try to understand these phenomena that why it is happening so uh, we will uh, mostly uh, the weather events like cloud brush under thunderstorm lightning and squalls these are the phenomena that are not understood well by the uh, by the authority that's why we are fail to predicting the weather uh, forecast accurately okay so how it should be and uh, how to we, how to save the uh, people who are affected from the weather phenomena these are uh, these weather phenomena so to understanding this in details uh, we need a com- come to understand depth knowledge physical process occurring within and outside the cloud okay and the surface and the upper atmosphere over the ocean and the polar region so understanding these uh, complex phenomena of the atmosphere we need a comprehensive and in depth knowledge of the uh, in depth knowledge of the uh, atmosphere that's why we need a lot of uh, funds to understand and put a lot of technology to understand the weather and other means uh, we will see that this is the main objective to understand the phenomena of atmosphere and how the clouds are formed so that's why a cloud chamber will be formed in this project uh, and after that we will understand how the cloud seeding work and how we will uh, uh, shave the area that are consistently facing the uh, drought uh, 
drought prone and also uh, the year by year drought okay and also save the area where the cloud burst uh, and the rain uh, make so much uh, flood and all uh, phenomena and take so much of life so uh, after uh, we have seen that what were the main objective now we will see that there is other objective related to the project so this project will also help in uh, predicting the air quality of the uh, metro cities like delhi bengaluru or kanpur the city that are very uh, polluted and also uh, it will increase the accuracy of 5 to 10% okay and also it will help in understanding the uh, understanding the prediction of weather uh, at panchayat level that are currently take the time of 10 to 15 days that will improve and we will get the informations within 3 to 3 uh, hours to 1 hours so that will be the uh, difference so currently we have a predicting uh, predicting process of 10 to 15 days at the level of village and panchayat but uh, through this uh, technology we will get to know about that within 3 to 1 hours okay and after that it will also help in understanding the weather uh, events like thunderstorm heavy rainfall and snow so these are the additional benefit apart from the uh, understanding the uh, cloud and the phenomena these are the addi additional benefit we will get and also we will uh, see that who will get the exact benefit of the project uh, so stakeholder see agriculture this project will help in agriculture as you know that our country depends on agriculture at almost half of the populations uh, uh, rely for the employment on agriculture so if we will uh, predict the predict the weather uh, accurate then it will help in the uh, rain management and the uh, crop patterns to the farmer and also it will help in disaster management so cloud burst and the heavy rainfall we can save the peoples who are uh, living in the uh, affected area it will help in defense also because a lot of peoples it deploy uh, for the defense purposes uh, in border area so if we uh, get to know the exact prediction of the weather we will save that people also and uh, more importantly it will help in energy optimizations and water resource management okay so as you know that the through the help of satellite and camera images we will get to know where the water is uh, sufficient amount and where uh, the ground level water is declining so through that we will manage and uh, we will uh, through the administrations we will take the help of uh, this project and we will enhance our productivity productivity in this area so these are the complete understanding of the mission motion however see these mo uh, these um, policy are very important because as you know that uh, currently a uh, world and india everyone facing the problem of climate change and th this is not a simple problem because everyone is affected by the problem even uh, people who are living in the metro cities high uh, Uh, high facilitated area or also the people who are in the uh, very far away from uh, the uh, chaos of the urban uh, setting so that's why it's necessary to understand and understand the importance and also why the government in, uh, emphasizes so much uh, for the project and this is so this this is all for this uh, session thank you